Hello folks, we are doing a series on um, what is a relevant idea for each place of on the, this long ladder of improvement that we are there at each place. We are doing it for quant, LRDI, verbal and overall. And so, I mean, this one is for data adaptation logical reasoning. If you are getting below 6 mark, what should you do? If you are typically in this range, what should you do to go here? If you are in this range, what should you do to go here? That is the plan. And so, if you are getting fewer than 6 marks, and I have a very good, very specific strategy for you. Uh, this means consistently you are not solving one set completely. Then you have got to take previous year papers and forget about time, how quickly you do them. Select one puzzle at a time, take 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, but get all the fundas right. If you are filling 6 different tables, you have not magically got the best way to unlock it, that is okay. Fill this in, get it right completely become agnostic to the idea of speed and how quickly you are doing things. But double down, you have to ha get this belief that you can solve one LRDI set that comes by taking actual LRDI sets and solving them. Super important to do that, to do select one and do it, be agnostic to time, it does not matter. People are not, let me tell you, statistically more than 90% of cat aspirants do not get one full set right. Remember that. So, if you get one full set right in the last four years, five years, that has meant a 90th percentile in CAT. 15 marks in LRDI have been 90th percentile or better in practically or there, thereabouts in the last five, six CATs in every section, every slot. What that means is 90% of students are not managing it, which means what is happening in our minds is we try a set. After a while, after 10 12 minutes, we, we lose confidence, go to the next one, lose confidence, come back to this one, and then finally sit for 10 minutes waiting for the clock to, to wind down. The only way you can break it is if your system has to believe that whatever happens, I can see through one set completely. That comes from previous year paper, take CAT 2018, so the 2 hour paper, 6 slots for DILR, 12 LRDI sets, I write it down, tell yourself from today, for 12 days in a row, I'll do one set per day. Measure how much time I am taking, but not worry about time pressure. If you do half the sets in less than 40 minutes, you're good. you can tell yourself, there's a good chance I will get one set right. I am through. That belief that you can solve one set is a magical starting point. Without that, all other LRDA advice goes waste. Nothing else matters. Fine. So, if you are here, from here to here, that means you sometimes you get it right, sometimes you don't get it right. Then again, big chunk of people here are flitting. On my day, I get one set right, but otherwise I am losing confidence, halfway around I dump it. Okay? If that is happening, then double down, magic is in getting one thing right, not flitting. Okay? But by the time you go from here to here, you need to start thinking about selecting the puzzles. So if you do 12 sets from CAT 2018 and the 6 of them, you are getting in 35 minutes. Another four you are getting right in 45 minutes. The last two it takes you one hour. Then you should say, look, I, all I need to do is make sure that my first puzzle is from this six and not from that six. Slowly your speed will improve. That will be 10 out of 12 or within 40 minutes. You are good to go. That level you can, you can be confident. So an element of decision making comes in and then you, you start, start worrying about it. From here to here is when you should say, look, I typically take 35 minutes to solve a set. But after selecting the right one and going and executing it, I should see if I can finish it in 20 minutes. Somewhere here to here, the confidence that one set is in the bag, Joby paper or set me kardunga, is important, which is why these two steps are important. Now the second part of it is to say, of these four sets, am I selecting the one best suited for me? That's step one. And then you say, look, I know this set. I am getting this, I have done something just like this, I am confident here, but now let me see if I can finish it in 25 minutes. From here to here is when speed comes into the picture, when you do lots of sets, speed naturally comes, don't worry about it, you don't have to do some magical thing to improve speed. So this is getting the confidence to do one set, this is the getting the confidence to do one set, but in 25 minutes, then you are good. If you do one set in 25 minutes in every mock, you will realize that in half the mock you are getting 25-26 marks, straight away. You'll do some guesses, you'll do something, look at choices and do the other bag of tricks, looking at one question and coming back to this, all of those start working. After you have put one in the bag, if you try all that in step one, it won't work. You solve one set, be very sure, 15 marks I've got. 
then you start gambling, you'll feel, you'll realize that magically some of these risks pay off. And every now and then you're hitting 25, 26, 25, 26 marks. And so, but that the cornerstone of that is to get one in the bag. Very, 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 very important. Here to here, that means you're basically saying I need to get two sets right. Which means your first set right decision, and within three minutes, two minutes, you should locate one set. Within 20 minutes, you should execute that set. And then you take stock. You have to hear to hear, you have to win over this feeling of being satiated. Suddenly you'll feel like one set of why nahi, ek ho gaya. Ah, finally one set is gone. LRDA was so scary. Achha, wo ek to clear ho gaya. Now the section cut off, I'll clear. And it's looking good. Hopefully, quant is not too difficult. <sighs> feeling so relieved, man. Nice. Usme kaya khatam. You're shutting the door on the second one. You should finish this and say, one gone. I'm on a roll here, I'm knocking off one. We should kill this feeling of being satisfied in the middle of an exam. Every half a minute matters. You jump in all over again and say, out of these remaining three, I'm going to select one and attack that. That satisfaction feeling you should kill and then, and then attack that. Beyond two sets is magical. That means you're flirting to be in the point 0, 0.1, 0, 0.15 percentile. If you crack those fundas, please send me a mail. I would love to know what you're doing. And so getting three sets right, is magically good. Getting two sets and two questions right is magically good. So magically good that I would definitely want to know how you're doing that. Right? So have this as a plan. Very often, uh, the parallel I do is, I don't know if many of you know this game called, obviously several of you will know the game, Rami. Uh, I don't know, the jargon and language would have changed. It's something called as a life set. There's one sequence without jokers. You don't get that life, you're getting zero points. Nothing, others don't matter. You're getting 100 points, negative points. That means you're not even in the game. So the entire game, when you're playing Rummy, when beginners will try to do different things. They'll try to do sequences and things and keep all options open, keep two jokers and all of that. And the guys who know the game will say, look, nothing matters. Let me get maximize my chances of getting 3, 4, 5 or 7, 8, 9 in the same suit in a sequence. After that, I'll do all of these other things. This is like that. That life, the first set is like that. The Rummy Wala thing, what it is. So change your entire strategy to saying this is in the bag. Then other things can can fall in play. Right? So guys, best wishes. Hush.